Some people here are furrowing their brows. If f is continuous, must it be differentiable according to the definition? How many people say yes? Sorry, if f is differentiable, must f be continuous? How many people say yes? OK, that's actually it's a right intuition. How do, we, how do we prove that? Well, it's actually not too hard, knowing properties of limits. Right, limits of when you're taking a limit of a function, we know that the limit of a product is a product of the limits, yes? And if I want to verify f is continuous, would you agree that it's enough to verify uh, if t converges, uh, is, a, is converging to x, it's enough to verify that the limit of f of t goes to what? f of x, right? That's what it means for function to be continuous, right? It basically preserves limits. So t goes to x. Is the lim limit of f of t going to f of x? Another way to, add, to, to say the same thing is, is the limit of f of t minus f of x going to what? Zero. Well, let's just see. Look at this creature. Would you agree that this is the same as, well, the same? f of t minus f of x, but you, you can't stop me from dividing by t minus x and multiplying by t minus x, yes? So this is a limit of a product. So that's the product of the limits. And what's the product of the limits here? What's the limit of this thing if it exists? f prime. And what's the limit of this thing? Zero, if it exists. And if it's differentiable, this exists. And this is clearly zero. So this actually is going to be f prime of x times zero, which is zero. Check. So we've just verified that the limit of f of t is f of x, which is what it means to be continuous. OK? OK, good. So differentiable functions are continuous. So they're, they're actually, I'm a little afraid to see what's <laughs> under here. Hmm, ta-da. Actually, it's, it's cool, because you could actually make this thing like go up. <laughs> All right, what fun. Ta-da, OK. OK, how, yes, question. Yeah, so one of the, remember, one of the equivalent definitions of continuity is that uh, function is continuous if for any convergent uh, sequence, or in this case, um, uh, think of this, if you like, as a, uh, a uh, sequence of points converging to x, limit of f of t converges to f of x. Yeah. Yes? Um, yeah, the, the only reason here is that uh, if t were an end, uh, if x were an endpoint, you don't want to include the endpoint. But we already tried to prove it with the x endpoint. Yeah, but if you're inside the interval, then y you might you might as well restrict yourself to uh, an open interval. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Question: What about? Um, what about the following question? If f is differentiable, well, then clearly f prime e exists, but must f prime be continuous on a, b? Must f prime be continuous? How many people say yes? How many people say no? OK, give me an example. Or is it just a feeling you had? Just a feeling? <laughs> OK. Yeah, yeah, it's a good feeling. The answer is no. And uh, let me give you an example. Consider the following function. 
well, what's the source of, of many, diff many good uh, examples in analysis? How about the topologist sine curve? Uh, but let's multiply it by a, um, a function that makes it uh, have a different amplitude besides 1. The amplitude will be x to the 4 thirds. And uh, let's define it to be 0 if x is 0. And if this is f, if x is non-zero. So let's just see what that function looks like. Oh, what fun. This is cool. Let's see. Looks something like this. It, uh, if you remember, the topologist sine curve oscillates more and more as you get closer to the to x equals 0, yes? But now I'm multiplying it by x to the 4 thirds. So this thing's going to have an amplitude which is governed by the curve y equals x to the 4 thirds, OK? Which uh, you can verify. You know, this is a exponents between 1 and 2, right? So this thing lives somewhere between uh, the straight line and the parabola, right? OK, and it does something like this. Right? Similarly, on this side, it starts off with a uh, low frequency, and then it gets to a higher frequency. And then right at the origin, it's a single value. It's, it's 0. OK? OK, cool. So um, first of all, would you agree this function's differentiable? Tell me why. Well, away from 0, it's, it's clearly differentiable, right? just because it's defined by this function sine 1 over x, OK? Um, but what's happening? Where's the only place you might worry if it's differentiable? Zero. So tell me why, if you start looking at secant lines with one end at 0 and the other end somewhere else, why this thing actually is going to have a limiting slope, the secant line. Very good. Yeah, so this, this, this uh, envelope function is going to squeeze the secant lines wherever you start putting them enough so that if you blow this thing up, you blow this picture up, it'll look more and more uh, linear, like a line as you blow that up. Yes? It would not be differentiable either, yes. Yeah, no matter what you defined. Uh, it to be doing at zero. Yes, and you're going to explore this in your homework a little bit. Yeah, this this thing could actually. I'll, I'll let me come to, back to your question in a sec, but uh, we just need this. Let me come back to your question in just a sec. Okay, let's see what happens to the derivative. So you agree this thing's differentiable, but what's its derivative going to be? This is actually getting at Bonnie's question already. So if this is f, suppose I decide to look at f prime. Well, first of all, what did we decide its slope was at 0? Zero? 0. Now, for the other part, it's very easy to apply our differentiation formulas from calculus to see what the, the, the derivative of this is. Right? What's the derivative of this part? Well, let's see. It's this times the derivative of this plus this times the derivative of this. right? But what's the derivative of this become? Good. You get x to the 1 third right? times uh, sine 1 over x. And then the other part basically is going to also uh, do something funny with, you know, take the derivative of this, 1 over x squared. It'll It'll uh, turn this 4 thirds into a minus 2 thirds, et cetera. OK, so basically what you'll find is one of the terms blows up, and you get um, a picture that looks something like this for the derivative. Up and down forever. <laughs> Don't make me do it. 